It's your boy EB. You're watching EB Family ENT. And if you like what you see, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. So you could become part of EB Fuck Fuck Family. Uh, but I always knew Exhibit from Pimp My Ride. I didn't know him from a rapper. I didn't even know he was a rapper until I saw him on a track with M like this. So, I mean, I never, like a lot of people probably knew he was a rapper first. I didn't. So I never gave him the right attention that I needed to because when I'm listening to M and he's on features with people I really didn't know like that, I'm not really listening for their verse. Uh, you're not supposed to do that, but that's what I did because I'm a stan and that's just how it goes. And I just, you know, I listen to M's verse more unless it's Royce. Or Crooked. Uh, no, I did it. I even did it with Crooked for a minute. But Crooked's got fire rhyme schemes. Or like his cadence is fucking phenomenal. So I always get lost in the cadence anyway. So thank you, Laura. Don't approach me. Let's get it. Let's go. Man, I need a lighter, man. Right here. Yeah, see, I need to get to that then, Tree. Shit, I almost hit this motherfucker today. What is it with motherfuckers thinking that? Because we're in the spotlight or whatever that they can do or say whatever they want to us and we won't retaliate. That's a fact, too. You guys know I rock with that chorus. You guys know I rock with that chorus. Now, don't get me wrong. I could be like, okay, without going into a actual, and without going into specifics, there's times where stuff like that, I'm the cause of stuff like that. And I admitted it the other day, but I'm not going to re-bring up that because that's, I'm done and over with all that. But like, I did that the other day, right? Where it's like, and I, I got, I, I will say I admitted that I got too, uh, like, comfortable with talking shit, right? And, um, and a lot of the times, too, so I can admit when I'm wrong with things like that. But a lot of the times, I start the problems. But there's also a lot of the times that I don't start the problems. And then I get shit thrown at me or just talking shit. But most of the time I look at it as a joke and that's what my problem is. Because usually I don't care enough to ever get mad about a lot of stuff. Except for today. I was pissed today. But I usually don't get mad about a lot of stuff. Like it just flies right over. But once I hear someone joking or even if they're not and they're talking shit to me, my joke talking shit side comes out too. And then I just don't stop right there. You know? But uh. They're talking about it in a more serious, like a serious approach of it. Um, and I am serious when it comes to like my, when it comes to protecting myself or protecting my family or something like that. Yeah. When it comes to an approach, like in human and actuality, fucking we're approaching each other and there's actually a problem. Oh yeah. 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 I don't just go up insulting people. Most of the time, it's like joking. I never would just go up and just randomly insult anyone. And that also makes me say, that's why you should never underestimate people either. Because there's a lot of people that they think they see someone's way bigger. So they always assume that that dude's just going to whoop it, this guy's ass. Or they think this dude's small, so he can't, he may be fast, but he, he doesn't know any technique. Oh, and that could get you in a lot of bad situations. Don't ever underestimate nobody, you guys. Uh, I learned that from me proving myself a lot, but then also being on the other end and underestimating people too. Because I've won a lot of fights. I've lost a lot of fights because I've fought a lot in my fucking life. Because I used to like to fight. Like, it, it was fun for me to fight back when I was in school and shit. Like, I was wild. So, appreciate you, Joe. Gifted one subscriptions. Appreciate you, Joe. But yeah, that's why I love that chorus. We're in the spotlight or whatever that they can do or say whatever they want to us and we won't retaliate. And protect my motherfucking self by any Hello, motherfucker. Extreme Joe O3 gifted one subscription. If you don't know what I will or won't do. Say 
Thank you, Jack. Hello, motherfucker. I screamed Joe O3, gifted one subscription. Anyway, be an underrated, gave me time to create. Can you relate? I renovate straight out the gate. Carry my weight, but seeing to receive nothing but hate. Million ass snatching crumbs off my little son plate. Kidnapped, locked in a trunk, and shot in the face. No hold, no. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So he's talking about an actual. He's not just talking like to everyone. He's actually personalizing this because he said, Make no mistake, I'm the Golden State heavyweight. Being underrated gave me time to create it. Can you relate? That's facts. I, I can relate with that a lot. That's why I love to prove myself with shit. Uh, I renovate straight out the gate, carry my weight, but seem to receive nothing but hate. And then the whole carry my weight, seem to receive nothing but hate. The gate, relate, create, that's fire. Millionaire snatching crumbs off my little son's plate. Oh, okay. I thought they said like the, I thought he was talking about his son got like kidnapped. Like they actually snatched his son up and something happened to his son. But no, he said snatching crumbs off my son's plate. So they they took his money away or they tried to do, I don't know. I don't know how they snatch crumbs. Like he's better than them. And they, they were like using his attention and shit and using his spotlight, you know, like clout, clout off of him. Or, yeah, I think it's clout. I think it's just they were taking clout from him and making themselves big because of him while fucking him the whole time. Make no what mistake, up, George? I'm the Golden State heavyweight. Be an underrated, give me time to create. Can you relate? I renovate straight out the gate. Carry my weight, but seeing to receive nothing but hate. Millionaire snatching crumbs off my little son plate. Kidnapped, locked in a trunk, and shot in the face. Uh, yeah, so that world actually world. happened? Showing up on my shows, you know how it goes. I might as well kick it at home. But my baby mama hate my guts and kids. Packed up, moved out, started a new family. So all this struggling for what? So I can blow up? Marry a slut, McCain, watch. My seed grow up, fuck that. This is the fucking thanks I get for trying to educate assholes and beat my bitch. Yo, I feel like my whole life is upside down. Upside Cause you down. see it more support than I'm seeing my child. It's like Damn. So okay. You guys know I can relate with that. How the hell did I skip past this verse? How the yeah, 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 yeah. Talk about appreciate you, Tree. He's talking about the industry comes off my plate. Yeah, I get that. But but I felt like it was more personal, and it is. And he said, it's definitely more personal. He said, my baby mama, so he had the same situation that happened with me. It, but it just, I guess it didn't turn out the same way. Mind it, did he ever get custody of his kid? Because that's the, literally what he said is word for word what the hell happened with me. So I'm not, I'm not understanding how... I never, like, heard this. I've heard this verse. But how I never focused it enough to, like, remember this verse. I should remember this effing verse. Because this is, like, super relatable to me. It's the same effing thing that happened with me. You know? And to this day, she's still fucking every day. Hey, t every day it's an argument about something stupid. Picked up, moved out, started a new family. So all this struggling for what? So I can... So I can blow up, marry a slut, but can't watch my seat grow up. And that's effed up. And that, I think it's so crazy. Like, I just, I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. Because even when I was fighting for custody, it worked out great for both of us. But even when I was, unless it's a situation where it's like this person needs to not be in their life because they're beating them, they're abusing them, like a legit. The, the person doesn't want to be in the kid's life. I was never going to court for full custody. I was fighting for fit for my 50 50 custody. L and it turned out that way. But that's what I was fighting for. But I would never go and fight for full custody because my baby mama's not a bad mom. And I was never a bad dad. But she was doing that in that same way, which does nothing but hurt the kid. So I don't get why so many people think that's like a good thing to do. Cause you, cause all it does is show how fucked up of a parent you are or how much you think about yourself more than your kid in all reality. Cause you care about yourself or your situation or your relationship more than your kid. 
Which to me, I can't respect anyone that does that. Thanks, I get for trying to educate assholes and beat my bitch. Yo, I feel like my whole life is upside down. Cause you see more support than I'm seeing my child. It's like that fucked up. Wake up, another drama. It's a wonder I'm alive, surviving this karma. If I can hold on to my private life for five minutes longer, I might get my wife to let go with a sniper. This karma without these cameras and our faces like animals. Put your channel to action news to follow our ambulance up the avenue. And catch a glimpse of all the suicide attempts and what we do in private sense. They won't let us put up a fence. Oh, and what we do in private sense? Yeah, I don't remember this verse. Okay. I mean, I, I, I don't know how I have never heard that. I know I've seen the title, but I never gave this song attention. Clearly, I never gave it attention because I don't even remember what M's talking about. Oh, this is going to be fire. Because you see more support than I'm seeing my child. It's like every day I wake up, another drama. It's a wonder I'm alive, surviving this karma. If I can hold on to my private life for five minutes longer, I might get my wife to let go of the sniper with this karma without this Right, like I might actually be able to give my wife attention. Uh, and But he said... <laughs> You know, it's M, and you know all the crazy shit that he go through. He thinks it's like, like him and women have had different, him and women have had a lot of difficulties, and it's constant stress, stress, stress. That's how my life has been. That's why I relate with M so much on that aspect, on only that aspect, really. But that's a big aspect, because that was a big portion of his life. And I relate to that. And so that's why I can put M as my favorite artist, because a lot of people say they can't relate with M. I can't relate with a lot of the things he talks about, but I can relate 100% to the, to the toxicity in the women category, the constantly arguing, constantly just arguing for no fucking reason most of the time, even though I, I'm the one that causes them a lot too. And he, he, he is too. But after a, a long time of that, and then it's your mom, and then your step, like constantly, you get to a point where it's just constant stress. And he said, so if I can hold on to my private life for five minutes longer, I might get my wife to let go of this knife. So that's why he said it like that. Like he's looking at her like, oh, she's going to let go of how much she hates me. And I can just calm her down. But it's, he's going to calm her down by giving her attention. But he doesn't have time to give her attention because all these other motherfuckers, all the media and shit is constantly trying to get involved in their life. And that's another thing I can relate to. Like, I don't like when people try to get so involved in my life for no fucking reason. But that's for another day. And then and just calm her without these cameras in our faces Five like animals. Over, I might get my wife to let go with a sniper yeah. this karma without these cameras in our faces like animals. Put your channel to action news to follow our ambulance up the avenue. And catch a glimpse of all the suicide attempts and what we do in private sense. They won't let us pull That was fire in private you sense. why I carry every gun under the sun. Whether it's unloaded full or an unregistered one. No bullet, you're so full of shit. This clip is so full of spit if I don't pull it. No bullets, you're so full of shit. This clip is so full of the spit. If I don't pull it, it's so full. It's at the point where it's about to fucking throw up in a spit by itself. Is it, that shit is on. Yeah, you talk about one in the chamber. That shit is at the edge and it's pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing and trying to get out. It wants to get out. There's an unstoppable force getting this shit out. And because you're, it's like a teapot. The damn teapot when the kettle is about to blow. Pause. <laughs> That's what he's saying. He's saying the stress level is that high. I'm loaded with all clips. F it. I'm gonna blow and bust any minute. Pause. Shit, this clip is so full of spit. If I don't pull it, and don't give me no bullshit, I'm not in the mood. I just got in the feud in some parking lot with a dude over Kim, and she just broke <laughs> the wrist over this shit. Don't tell me about the show business shit. I know what this is, bitch. Oh yeah, this song is fire. The ramp, ramp, that's dope. Personal bitch, you don't know exhibit for shit. A new school class dismissed. I had a very fucked up day. I'm needing this fit. Shutting motherfuckers up like they bleeding a fit. Yo, M is time to yeah. get serious with it. Time for everybody to feel it. Similar to the egg in the skillet. This is your brain on drugs. Exhibit brain on thugs. Hey. Neighborhood that's big enough to bang on us. Yo, the way, yeah, exhibit is dope. Time for everybody to feel it. Similar to the egg in the skillet. This is your brain on drugs. 
if your egg's in the skillet, when, when the egg gets in the skillet, it, like, fills... I'm trying to think of... I know what the bar means, like, similar to the egg in the skillet, and it's, it's heating up, it's heating up, it's heating up, it's getting to the point where it's gonna fucking explode and go crazy, but I'm trying to actually look at, like, an egg being in a skillet and trying to think, like, what happens around the edges of the skillet, how it, like, builds up all, all around the edge of the edge of the skillet itself i think that's what he meant by that specifically to actually i'm trying to vision that and see what he means on the literal side of the bar not the metaphor side and then he said this is your brain on drugs so your brain's effed up but this is my brain exhibits brain on thugs ain't no neighborhood that's big enough to bang on us the way he just did that is dope to me Mac egg with skillet. There used to be a commercial that showed a fried egg saying, this is your brain on drugs. Oh, yeah, because your brain is fried. Duh. None of my business, but I wanted to ask before, do you think your baby mama watches your lives? Uh, no, I, she does not watch my lives. But even if she did, that's why I don't say, like, I don't, I won't ever talk about, because I, re, I respect my baby mama. And, you know, I try not to, uh, I'll never get into personal, like, actual situations except for what was already brought up in court that i feel like is enough to talk about but yeah but i would never get so personal with it and actually talk about legit things between me and my baby mama because i feel like that's private but yeah i appreciate you bringing that up and 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 then you said an anti-drug commercial that's funny so they put a fried egg Saying this is your brain on drugs for fried egg. That's hilarious. It's time to get serious with it. Time for everybody to feel it. Similar to the egg in the skin. This is your brain on drugs. Exhibit brain on thugs. Ain't no neighborhood that's big enough to bang on us. Ain't no love lost. My niggas relax yourself. I'm about to snatch it all and start spreading the wealth. To my niggas who never seen it. I mean it when I holler at the top of my lungs. About my guns and my love ones. That's a fact. Tons of ammo. The rack of enamel. Changing the channel. Played like a fucking piano. Riding slow through Cali like a... I'm riding the camel, but you damn motherfuckers with the brains and the flannels. Oh, the rhyme, the ammo, and what the hell is an enamel? To crack your enamel, is that supposed to be skull? But enamel, and then, like, I'm riding a camel, riding slow through Cali like I'm riding a camel. Because, can't you know, you guys, I mean, that's an obvious bar, but that's just dope as hell. Like, I'm riding slow, and he's saying I'm riding slow through Cali like I'm not scared of nobody. I'm, I'm able to ride slow through all these parts of Cali. He didn't say one specific neighborhood. He said the entire Cali. And he said, so he said, I'm good everywhere I go. Changing your channel, you played like a fucking piano. Yeah, that's fire. That's fire. That's fire. Fucking piano. I'm riding the camel. Thanks to that plano. Tony Soprano, who do I trust now? Just hit me on my teller, nigga, as soon as I touch down. Spit lines and split spines just to get mine. Big behind bitches getting thick to spit shine. Sniff lines and coke. That's the only shit to make your dope bitch ass nigga that's dropping a soap. Get choked out and beat. Put your head in a vice grip and turn to you motherfuckers. Tell me the right. Oh, yeah. Hold the fuck up. Yeah, see, I don't, I don't know any of this. I do not know Exhibit is rapping like this. How do I just look over this, though? But I also don't, don't even remember M's part on this song. And so, but I don't know, because I know the song. I know the song. I know I know the song. But I didn't know. I never, like, went through this song before. So this is dope. I'm so glad you requested this one, Laura. I feel like Tony Sobrano, who do I trust now? Just hit me on my telly. Soon as I touch down, spit lines to split spines just to get mine. That's fire. Big behind bitches getting dick to spit shine. <laughs> Cause that shit's gonna be shining if they spit on it. But they got a big behind. Zip lines of coke. That's the only shit that'll make you dope. Yeah, you gotta be super. You gotta feel like Superman out here. That's the only shit that'll make you dope. But coke dope. Oh, yeah, okay. That's, a, that's the only shit that makes you, make you dope. That's that dropping the soap. And then the vice grip. Hey, Allie. Hey, Allie. 
Can't have a bodyguard walk me out to my mailbox. And every time somebody makes a threat, run and tell cops. Fuck that. I can protect, protect myself with these 12 shots. Let's one go. In the chamber, gun in the waist, and one in the ankle. Waiting for someone to come to my place. Trying to walk up and knock. Like these cops suckers are not going to get a shot. Gun of a Glock shoved in their face. And it's a disgrace. Haley can't play with the toys in the front yard without them driving by. Honking your horn. Screaming some shit. Leaning out to windows, beeping and shit. Or pulling up in my drive like I won't leave in your whip. And so these kids tell their friends. And relatives where I live, so my address ends up on the internet again. So then I do an interview with Spin, telling him that if someone comes to my crib, I'ma shove a gun in their ribs and reporters blow it out of proportion. Oh, and now he's pulling guns on his fans just for trying to stand on his porch. And I'm the bad guy because I don't answer my door like, hey, hi, you guys want some autographs? Okay, on a straight line. Yeah, and again, the dope part about. Yeah, the dope part about this, though, is the fact that. The dope part about this, though, is the fact that, like, I never understood that. I, I never understood it, and I never will to this day. And I talk, this is stuff that I talk about on this channel all the time. And, like, okay, so there is one thing, right? When you get big enough, especially like M, because he's talking about the fact that now the fame's here, or he's, like, he, he's, he's this in society now. So because he's this in society... He shouldn't be the one to do these things. Like, he should have security, and he should go about situations different, which at, at, there's times that I do agree, but it, it all depends on whatever situation it is. Like, I would never uh, expect for people... Because I'm big enough, oh, so now if someone comes and tries me, like, like I'm, I'm supposed to be big enough now where I shouldn't argue anymore with anyone. Like, my whole life I've been arguing with people. And now, like, say this channel blows the fuck up, right? Like, say, say I somehow just get fucking, like, famous out of nowhere. You guys all have seen me. How many times do I argue? How many times do I go on my rant? And then all of a sudden it's like, hold on. I've done this my entire life. And now because this person watches me, this person watches me because I have a name, I'm supposed to just not argue anymore? Like, that's not reality. It's not reality. It will never be reality. And I really think it's wild when it comes to stuff like this where they get mad that artists fucking are out there fighting and they get looked bad upon because... Kids shouldn't be seeing them fight like you want to be a role model. But at the end of the day, if it's anyone else, if they didn't have that fame, everyone else is going to be calling him a bitch for not standing up for his family. Or they're going to be talking shit about him for not protecting his family and for backing down to people. So regardless, whichever way you go, you're fucked, basically. And that's why I like this. With great power comes great responsibility. That's a fact. But that's why I say it depends on whatever situation it is. It depends on whatever situation it is. Because at the end of the day, you can't expect someone to change who they are internally. Like, that's just, it, that's, that's unrealistic. Do an interview with Spin, telling him that if someone comes to my crib, I'm gonna shove a gun in their ribs and reporters blow it out. Like, remember, M grew up fighting all the time. He, he grew up, and then even in rap, he grew up fighting all the time. Like, his whole life has been arguing or having to prove himself or having to overcome something. Like, with him, he was the white boy in rap, so he had to overcome that. He had to prove himself here. When you live an entire life like that, you have this fighter mentality in you or an arguing mentality in you. Like, for me, it's an arguing mentality in me. For me, it's like... I don't care about specifically being right, but I have this whole, like, there's always, like, a pushback or always a fucking, so I can never just say anything and it just end there. It's always got to be something, 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 something. So after my whole life of it being like that, now I'm just quick to fucking argue about shit that doesn't even need to be argued about. But I know myself and I know that will never change. It can definitely, I can work on it. 
But just because I get famous does not mean that shit's gonna change. Like, people gotta be realistic. In fact, Fuck out of here. I feel like loading his rifle and climbing the roof at night and hiding outside and snipe you. That's wild. It's not that I don't like you. It's just that when I'm not behind a mic, I'm a person who's just like you. Exactly. Yeah, you're still your same person. You're still going to be you. You're never going to automatically just change who you are internally. Like, and that's why, Peter, that's why so many people need to do so much more self reflecting. And that's why. I hate when people say, like, specifically for me, I hate when people try to say that I don't take uh, advice from people or I don't, because I do. I do take it. I listen and I take the advice. But again, you're, I'm not going to just automatically just like, poof, and just attend to whatever anyone else is saying. I've never done that my whole life. And it's never going to change. <laughs> it will, that will never change. It will get better, but it will never change. Why? Because I, I know myself. I know I, I can explain where that comes from. And I can explain why I am that way. And I'm sure M can do that too with a lot of the stuff that he talks about. And I'm not trying to personally make this about me or any situation. I'm just I'm, I'm using it as a parallel to explain why I understand that so much. But